5 a.m. We're in Biasca in the Ticino, Switzerland. Here in the West Tunnel, the non-ballast track on which trains will travel beneath the Gotthard from 2016 onwards at speeds of up to 250 km per hour is now almost complete. Meter by meter, the track layers work their way into the Gotthard massif. This is what they find there, the exposed base of the rough work. The men from the track laying train themselves lay the track they're actually moving along. The rail lifting unit pulls the 120 metre long rail pairs into the correct position via temporarily installed rollers. Here, the crawler tracks have to be very precisely controlled. Each of these rails weighs over 7 tonnes. While the temporary track for use by the concrete train is prepared, a further team are already working on precise alignment of the rail joint geometry. During welding of the rails, the vertical and horizontal positions of the rail ends are only allowed to deviate from each other by a few tenths of a millimetre. The men are highly experienced, and adjustment takes only a few moments. The automatic welder is integrated into the rail lifting unit, and in just a few seconds is ready for operation. The rail ends are precision clamped inside the welding head and then pressed together. Many kilo amperes of electric current flow across the contact surfaces and heat the rail ends until they are white hot. They are then flash butt welded together. One day later, delivery of the sleepers for the future track. The rails will later be mounted on these sleepers. The workers unload 7,200 of them in two shifts. The gantry crane with laying beam places 60 sleepers in one operation. The slotted wagon enables the crane to reach the base of the tunnel through the rails. Each sleeper is precisely positioned. The track layers who will be taking over at this location in one day's time are relying on finding a perfectly prepared construction site. The finishing touches are provided by the specialists from the slab track construction team. Only when the gates are closed does the robot shift a short distance further forward to place the next sleepers in position. Two out of a total of roughly 380,000 in the entire Gotthard Base Tunnel project. We have a classic line construction site. We have 85 workers in a 24-hour, 7-day shift model. Here, in contrast to industrial production, where the material moves past the worker, our workers move along the line. The third section of the track laying machine follows. These men are already putting the rails in their approximate final position and also fixing their height. The reference points for this are placed in the shoulders. The track layers use these reference points to precisely determine the position of the laying machine, thus already aligning the track to within tolerances of a millimeter. Concrete experts from six countries use a special train to produce fresh concrete directly in the tunnel. Each wagon is filled with a mixture of sand and gravel. At 33 tons per wagon, that adds up to a total of around 500 tons. The mixing wagon is at the head of the train. Parallel to operation, a master mixer coordinates the concrete consistency with the climatic conditions in the tunnel. So concrete is produced continuously on a just-in-time basis. The mixing plant remains in unceasing operation for two shifts. A shuttle now takes care of the transport through the tunnel, using the shoulder as a track. The minimum setting time for the concrete is 48 hours. During that time, the concrete train cannot use the track. This is why the concrete has to be supplied in portions. There are no stops of any kind. Even the shift changes are seamless. This is because the quality of a fixed track largely depends on continuity of placement. First, the workers compact the concrete with so-called shaker bottles. The vibrations help to prevent bubbles of trapped air. With fixed tracks, it's always an interplay between man and machine. For 57 kilometers of tunnel, they have to optimize that interplay absolutely. For this purpose, we've built a 240 meter long test track outside the tunnel to train every single working operation so that we can guarantee 100% quality from the first meter on. Around 200 meters of fixed track are produced by the men in two shifts that interlock seamlessly. 
the track can be built in one single industrial process. At the same time, only manual work can achieve the very highest quality standards. One example being the smoothing of the concrete. For the men, the day's work is over, but in the hall, operations continue. 450 tonnes of additives, 90 tonnes of cement, 50 cubic metres of water and 1,000 litres of aggregate to mix into the concrete. Loading is automated and, parallel to it, the mixing and pumping unit is cleaned and serviced every night. The objective has been clearly defined. In 2016, the first train will pass through the Gotthard Base Tunnel. With the new flat trajectory railway through the Alps, the way is now clear for a fast connection between Northern and Southern Europe.